papers been a wee while sorry uh, life's been a bit full on so i thought we'd have a wander around the garden and just um talk about how to maintain a few things so if you look over here we've got a courgette doing its thing um and in here we've got very many growing so actually we might not see very many because my little boy has already been out here and got them all but all these wee flowers are going to turn into gherkins and what i've been doing is see how they put these out see we've left this one a little bit long the curls already stopped but see these ones here you just wrap them around you see that mm -hmm. so we can bring this over just gently and this one should still work this one definitely so very gently and don't you know sometimes they break it's okay but you just very gently wrap it around the game is it anyway oh yeah there we go it'll do its thing and then it will sort of start and you can grab a few around here if you can and then that will carry that on by itself they're very clever little things and you can see where i've been doing this um, a few other places and i've been weaving it if you look i just push them through so don't be afraid to do that i'll show you now the thing you do need to be careful of is these little flowers they are going to turn into the fruit in this case the gherkin so you want to be careful not to knock those off oh and there's a wee gherkin there look at it so you just very carefully push it through and you can bring it back through if you like and start start the process again if that one's going to do it might not all right so that's the gherkin if you come around here you'll see what i did with my tomato okay so i would have liked mesh but um with these left over from making the washing line in the carport we just use what we've got it's all good so we just tied it up here brought it down um if you i have actually gun stapled it down so if you come have a look over here there's a in here you can see where i've gun stapled it now um i have not always had a gun stapler if you don't have something be borrow or don't steal do a deal trade with someone okay so I'll, I'll make you a cake if i can borrow your tools or whatever um you know something like that so what we're doing with these is if you look at these tomatoes i've been wrapping them around and once again got to be really careful because of the flowers are the what's going to turn into the tomato and this is what's been happening all the way along here getting a little bit excited look at these so we're not ripe yet, but we're definitely going to get there. And also, I'll just show you. I'll see if I can find one. We've been pretty vigilant with the laterals. Um, to try and keep your plants tidy. Oh yeah, this one. So in between your plant, you'll get... Come down close, mate. So you get your your main stem and you get your leaves. And then you get this thing in here called a lateral. You don't have to if you want your tomato plant to go crazy. That's cool. But if you break break these off and they and they'll always form. See if you come around here. There's another one. Where are you? Oh my goodness, I'm a little bit uncoordinated with this. Oh, I see. He's zoomed me. There. So there's another one. And they actually grow back, which I didn't realise. I couldn't work out last year why they kept doing why they kept being so messy. Um and it just keeps your plant nice and tidy. Okay? And if you come around here. Done the same thing over here with the cucumbers so this one i've been waiting to i didn't do this one today so i can show you so you just wrap it around it actually looks really similar to a jerky i'm not sure what's up with that but we discovered that if you let your gherkins get a bit bigger well you can just like cucumbers anyway they're delicious so same thing wrap it up and just wrap this around Okay, and you'll see over here where it's it's been getting a really good little um little hold on that. And if you come over here, I think the peas are not liking the heat. So see how we've been making them all climb because they all do a very similar thing. Um, but they're looking a bit sad. I think it's getting a bit hot for them. Now, um, with the um the things that you can make climb. You can actually do that with your melons, you can do it with your pumpkins, you can do it 
a little bit with your crochet sheets. So I don't, they don't really seem like the runners, but you can make them come up a like an, on an angle. So one year we grew our pumpkins and our melons up trees, up the fruit trees in the orchard. Um, the climbing crane, my coolest one ever, we actually made one out of tea tree. So, because that's what we had available, it was free. So you just make like an A-frame at the same, one of that end and then the bar across the top. And I had an old fishing net. So that you can make the crochet. I'm not sure I made it out of the net a little bit, maybe not. But definitely the pumpkins, the melons, the um, cucumbers, anything like that. Um, the other thing I just want to show you is, is the is the seeds. So you'll notice here, this is a parsley plant. I always let my plants go to seed because then you've got free seeds. Now parsley seeds look very similar. If you come back over here, sorry. To celery seeds. So these are actually celery. So when this dries, these will turn brown. And then they're ready to ha harvest. So you can either replant them or you can actually use parsley and celery seeds in making herb salt, which is a bit of fun. If you're into that, I've tried that, it's pretty cool. If you come over here, so this is what's going on over here. My son thinks this is horrendously messy. Not to be confused with this weed that's growing in here that's actually trying to disguise itself in with the spinach. This stuff's here is spinach going to seed. So it's going to do the exact same thing when it's brown. And dried it's ready to use and if you look over here this is where you know spinach and beetroot are from the same family so it's done the same thing they're going to look very similar lettuce i don't actually bother to put into an envelope i just leave it self seed and then plant it out i think i've showed you that before this here i've never let this go to seed i've never grown this before this is the the daikon radish which i use for making kimchi but it's looking like these are the seed pods. So it, it bolts, it flowers, and then the seed pods form. So if you look over here, what I am going to harvest is these. Right, should I come around this side? So this, these, this is a buffalo. So if you look in here, can you know? So it was the buffalo, and it's flowered, and then same thing. The flower goes to here, and then if you look in here, when that pod opens, oh, I dropped them. There's, and I dropped a few, hang on. So those little ones there, those are the seeds. So you just actually... Oh, show it again. Show it again, I didn't catch it. So you just grab your pods, and I just put the whole pod into the envelope, and then you can pull the plant. How do you get it? There was something else I was, thought was going to see was going to grow. Must be in that parsley, it's not quite ready. So, um, here we go. Just a little wander around the garden and what's happening and a few little tricks. And I'll get on to making another video.